Hello and welcome to Sif Goose. Today we're going to look at class property observers, also known as will set and did set, and how you can use them to monitor changes to properties in your classes. So if we run this code, you'll see that we're getting different print statements. The price was changed to 500 from 1 to 1000 from 500, and that's based on our property using will set and did set above. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this and create our class. So we'll make a cheese coin class. And then what we have to do now is make a property. So let's set a price property of type double and right away let's set it equal to zero. And now we can create our observers. So let's make will set. And when the price property is set, we are going to print out a new string saying cheese coin price change to and we can access the new value that it's going to change to using new value. And let's do the same thing for did set. Let's copy our code, change this to did, and we'll say cheese coin price was, and here we can grab the old value. So what's going to happen here is when the price property changes, we'll get two print statements. The first is when it's about to set, we'll print out the new value that it's going to change to. And then when it was set, we'll print out the old value that it was previously. And we need an initializer. So let's set our price to be double and self price equals price. And then let's also make a method that will help us change our price. Funk pump, and we'll put a price here. Make it of type double. Self dot price equals price. And just a quick note here, since we set the price equal to zero right at the top, we don't actually need this initializer, but I created it anyway. Now let's create our cheese coin variable. And we'll set the price to be 1.0. If we run the code, Nothing will happen, of course, because we didn't change the property yet. But now if we pump the price, oops, cheesecoin.pump, and we'll pump it to $500. And we print our code here. And we see here cheesecoin price changed to 500, and it was at 1.0. Now what happens if we copy this line and paste it a couple more times, run the code again, we see that cheesecoin price was changed to 500 three times. Right now our will set and did set are responding every single time, no matter if the value was different or not. If we wanted to change that, we could come up here and put in if price is not equal to new value, then we'll do our code here. And same thing with the did set. If price is not equal to old value, again, print out our code. format a little bit here. And then if we run it again, we only get the print statement once for both of them. And again, that's because the first time we're changing it from 1.0 to 500. So that triggers our will set and did set method since price before was at one and now the new value is 500. And then same thing with did set. But now when we pump it again to 500, nothing actually changed. The price and the new value are the same and price and old value are the same. So these two statements don't run. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and remember to hit the dinner bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.